Adam Hills. Uh, hello, as you know, it's quite tight tonight. I'm just going to say this, get it out of the way and uh, get off. Don't read women's magazines, they're all full of shit. <laughs> I'm not just going to leave it at that, I have proof to back it up. Uh, I know people that work in women's magazines here in Australia and they have told me what goes on behind the scenes. They are evil, they are insidious. They are designed to make women feel bad about yourselves so that you buy the shit that they advertise. <laughs> I know someone that stood up in an editing meeting for one of the women's magazines in Australia and said, why don't we have a normal issue? Why don't we have an issue with normal body shapes and sizes on the cover all the way throughout instead of the stick figure Uber models with bodies that are unattainable? It never happened because no advertiser would put their products in that issue. All the, all the like, perfume companies and the, the toiletry companies went, oh, we're not putting it, no one's going to buy our stuff if they feel good. You only buy shit if you feel shit. It's a basic sales pitch. The Christian church have been using it for years. I was living in London for a while and I was living with a group of people, one of whom designed CD covers. She designed three CD covers for three female pop stars in their 20s, all in the top 20, one of whom made it to number one. On every CD cover, on every photo throughout, on every poster associated with it, she digitally enhanced every single body. Not one of the pop stars that my housemate worked on were real. One of them, she deleted the legs and drew her own on. <coughs> Holy Valance. shit and we need to be told this fella blokes we need to know our girlfriends can't look like the posters because the women on the posters don't look like the women on the posters <laughs> women you need to know you can't look like that unless you've got an apple mac and a computer science degree <laughs> and you know the joke at the end of the day guys aren't that fussy <laughs> We're shallow, but we're not that bad. We don't walk down the street and go, oh, hang on, she's skinnier than her. You're dumped, I'm taking the skinny. We're not like that! I don't know about the rest of the men here. Personally, I'm just happy to have found someone who wants to kiss me and has a favourite episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, you're applauding me there, fella. Yeah, rock on. That's all we want, ladies. I'm serious. Next time you're in bed with your bloke, don't worry about whether your tummy's tight enough or your bum's in the right shape. If he does the right thing to you, you just look back at him and go, excellent. <laughs> He will love you forever. But you know what? It goes the other way, fellas. We have to learn a line from Dirty Dancing. It sounds ridiculous, but trust me, halfway through a conversation with a woman, you have to find an excuse to go, hey, nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Enjoy the festival, and please support Oxfam Australia. Uh, I've been Adam Hills. See you later. It's Bevan. Hey, Amos.